I reviewed this unique inverter from MillerTech on my channel five months ago. It uses power tool batteries from DeWalt, Milwaukee, or Makita to run the inverter and comes in a 300 watt or 600 watt size. Since then I've gotten numerous questions about it, so I wanted to do a follow-up video today to address some of those questions. First, I was asked whether the 600 watt version that has two battery sockets pulls power from both batteries or from one at a time. Unfortunately, I can't really demonstrate that, so I'll just answer the question, that it does pull power from both batteries in parallel. This is one reason why I recommend getting the 600 watt version, even if you don't ever plan on using a full 600 watts. I'll go over another reason for that later on in the video. Second, I was asked if this inverter can power a small refrigerator. For some of you, this might not seem like a big deal, but as I've shown in past videos, not all inverters are created equally. And just because they say they have a certain surge rating doesn't mean they can successfully spin up an inductive load. So with two batteries freshly charged, let's try it out on this jumbo sized dorm fridge. Mission accomplished. As you could see, the fridge used a lot of power for a short time to get the compressor motor going and then dropped off to a very low running wattage. The MillerTech inverter handled it just fine. And third, I was asked if the batteries are hot swappable in the dual socket 600 watt model. In other words, can you disconnect one of the batteries while the inverter is still running and replace it with another battery? <laughs> to demonstrate, I used a blender on a constant low speed. I removed one of the batteries while the blender was running and it continued to operate just fine. I then put that battery back in and removed the other battery. The inverter didn't care at all. As long as one battery was still in a socket, the inverter continued to provide power. So between the ability to hot swap batteries and the inverter pulling power from both batteries at once, the 600 watt inverter model is the best option. It won't tax the batteries as hard, so you'll get a longer run time, and you can swap in fresh batteries as you go to keep something running for extended periods of time in a pinch. And clearly it has the internal construction to handle jobs that most 600 watt inverters could never dream of. So get yours today at store.ldsreliance.com. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up below and leave a comment.